I use a component wizard to create a lot of different components and uh, I start the wizard here. When I uh, create components I go and click new and give it an article number this one is number 7 and my component uh, kind could be a cable. Cables uh, will go into a special window when you make them and uh, you must uh, choose a cable symbol for, uh, for, for this one and uh, cable symbols are found either in the MISC uh, folder or in the 66117 folder so I'll just take this one here um, when I have the cable I can uh, add a diameter that's a dimension to it which is relevant when I route cables and then I know or I could know how f uh, full my, uh, my, my trays are, etc. So this one could be 5 mm in diameter. If my cable come in 100 m uh, drums or reels, then I'll just uh, type in the number here. If I have three conductors to this cable, I could go in and uh, select by color in the list here the colors that I have uh, for each conductor. I can see um, what the color code is for in the, in the help pane here. I could also go in and say if they have numbered uh, the conductors or simply select by number or I could use a text and then I could write anything I wanted to do. But I could also go out and load a cable file which I think might be the smartest. So if I have a file here which is, uh, and it's always in this database one here, all my cable files are called CPL as in cable and cable files are files that have a uh, number for the cable series and that could for instance be this one and that means that if I want it to follow this it could be a standard for instance or a cable series name then a three conductor cable would have the conductor color as in green yellow black and brown and then that would be it I could go up and say I want to have a, a 10 conductor cable I could load the cable uh, list here and it could be this one and you can see all the conductor names come here because they are read from this file that I have and um, when you make your cables this is definitely the easiest way of doing it if you have any mistakes in this file you could go in and, and edit it but uh, that could be in another video but load the file uh, first select how many conductors and load the file and this is how you make a cable in a very very easy way and then you click next and you could add again all other information that you find necessary and uh, click next and click finish and that's the cable that you have created.